I know today's Easter and we're here and we celebrate. But this song came to my heart this morning. I was teaching in Sunday school this morning on how to be focused and, and uh, in my heart this morning I need a Savior. Always need a Savior. No matter how close that we think we are, all the good things that we think we do, we all still need a Savior. Right? And I'll have a sing this this morning. <laughs>
Pastor, see everybody in the house, glad you're here. And I hope you're happy to be here. Well, amen, that's good. Amen. I believe in a happy crowd. And uh, I believe with all my heart it was a happy crowd um, the morning that Mary looks in the tomb and sees not only that the Savior is alive, but sees her son is alive. Amen. What a hallelujah. What a hallelujah. It, it doesn't look like a miracle on Friday, but it looked a whole lot like a miracle on Sunday. I, I'm glad, and, and this is almost preaching weather right here, I, I'm glad there's times you can't tell what God's doing right now, but when later comes, you'll be glad God's in control. We have this promise. For all things work together for good for them to love the Lord and our call according to His purpose. I'm telling you, right now may be the word, right now may be the battle, right now may be the struggle. But if you hold to God, if you hold to it, I'm telling you, it's labor today and it's love tomorrow. Amen. What a hallelujah. I need to tap out before I get in. Amen. What a blessing to be here. Aren't you glad you came out on Easter? There's, there's no better day, there's no better day to sing, there's no better day to testify, there's no better day to worship, there's no better day to preach. Amen. This is a good day to love on Jesus. Amen. It's a good day to consider Jesus. Yeah. It is. And, and I, I want to say this to you, uh, and I mean this well, that it's a good day to consider Him. What do you mean by that? There are some folks that struggle in their faith, not sure about their faith, but can I give you this? The Bible doesn't just charge you and I to get saved. The Bible doesn't just charge you and I to cast our cares upon Him. But Hebrews 12 charges us with this. Consider Him. Yes. Consider Him. True. I, I believe this with all of my heart. I'm glad for the day I got saved. I'm glad for that day. But I'm glad for the day that I look toward Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's stand together if you would. What a blessing to be out here today. What a blessing. So thankful for the song. So thankful for good Sunday school time. Thankful for every handshake, every hug. Good to see everybody else today. Uh, and we've got a wonderful crowd. Uh, it's amazing. On Easter, we still got folks missing. Uh, you, you, you come up with about this list of about 150. And uh, we're missing some folks. But can I give you this? I said this Thursday night. Because if I'm guessing there's folks here today... And you was hoping that you, your spouse, your, your grandkids, you've got family members missing in the pew with you. But can I give you this? When you get to heaven, God's going to look out for the crowd. There's going to be some people missing he wish could have been there too. Amen. So if heaven's got people missing, I declare it's all right for churches to have some people missing. Amen. That's just, if God learns to accept that, we ought to too. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. So many needs in the house, so many folks to be in prayer for. Uh, folks with surgeries coming up, folks with sicknesses coming up, or not sicknesses coming up. We all got that coming up. Uh, but folks sick right now, uh, we've got many people being prayerful. We need to be much in prayer for our country. We need to be much in prayer for our leaders. Uh, we need to be much in prayer for the lost to be saved. It's so, so needful. Can I give you this? And I, I pray this doesn't offend anyone yet. Um, but I, I want to give you this. Would it be fine if we just pray? Well, Chase, we need to have prayer request time. Is there a better day just to come to God and just talk to Him? Amen. Chase, there are so many days I need I need things from Him, though. But is there a better day just to say, God, I want to thank you for a few things, and God, I want to tell you how much I love you? Amen. Don't you believe that's the truth? Amen. How many of you believe in power of prayer? Would you raise your hand? Amen. God bless you. How many of you stand in need of prayer? Amen. How many of you glad you got somebody to pray to? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's stand together. Let's pray together. Brother Tommy, lead us if you would. Father, Lord Jesus, we look to God. We thank the Lord for this day. Lord, thank you for being so near. Thank you for being so near. Jesus, 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 we thank you, Father, for all that you've done. Lord, we look at all the things and all the stuff and all the people that we have in our lives. And Father, we are so, so blessed. We're so blessed. But then we, we have to look farther back than that. We have to look back at Calvary. But we have to look back at creation and God see that you loved us from the start. Jesus, everything you did on the cross was strictly for us. 
And I thank you for loving us like that. I, I can't say we deserve that love. But Lord, I thank you for loving us that much. Thank you, God, for loving us, God, even though we don't understand how you do it, we don't understand why you do it. But God, I thank you for loving us that much. Jesus, I pray for every need in the house. So many folks praying for family members, folks praying for loved ones. Lord, folks with career decisions, financial decisions, professional decisions. Jesus, 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 so many things going on. And Father, your, your eye is on all of it. Your eye is on all of it. Medical needs, your eye is on all of it. Father, I pray you help us today as we gather around you and we love you. Help us, God. Lord, listen to you. Help us look to you. Father, we'll be, we'll be made better because of you every moment. Lord, I love you. I'm counting on you this day. In your name we pray. Amen. You can be seated if you would. I have no doubt, folks, got psalms, got testimonies. Can I give a request? That's nice.
this. I know it's Easter and all that mess. Uh, how did you ever say that? I'll just be quiet. <laughs> hey, if it'd be fine, could, could we just have church day? I know it's Easter and everybody's all dressed up. You look so good from here. I wish you could see what I see. Some, some of y'all look real happy. And anyway, but, hey, I, I, I believe this. There's never a time that you and I don't need Jesus. Yeah, all right. And, and, and what a thing it'd be, you come to Easter service, you check it off your box. And I'm thinking that you here. Please know that. Please know that. But wouldn't it be a horrible thing to come to Easter service, but you do not talk to Easter? That makes sense? Wouldn't it be a horrible thing to come to Easter, Bill, and not have Easter talk to you? Who's Easter? Who's the resurrection? Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I encourage you today, if these folks need to come pray this morning, if you come, folks like to just talk to God. Got some things on your soul. I encourage you. Chase, what we're doing, we're just following Jesus. I need a church that's more structured than this. Amen. Then you in some trouble. Because <laughs> at the harbor, we just believe in needing Jesus and loving Jesus. Amen. And I believe it'll work out that way. I do. Amen. Go ahead.
prayers answered all over the house, you know. I just thank God for being God. Good day to be here. Chase, I don't know much what's going on. Real people get help from a real God. Amen. And that's needful. That's needful. Book of John, if you have your Bible, book of John, chapter 15. John 15. John 15. If this Easter message doesn't tickle your fancy, go back and watch Thursday night. That'll help you. Pick. <laughs> you can pick which one you like more. Uh, this is what's on our soul for the day. I pray, I pray heaven help us. You know what? I do. I pray that way. John 15 at verse number 13. John 15 verse 13. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you henceforth, I call you not servants. For the servant knows not what his Lord does, but I have called you friends. For all things have I heard of my Father that I have made known unto you. You haven't chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you'll ask of the Father in my name, he may give it. These things I command you, that you love one another. John 15 and 13, one more time. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Pray with us. Our Father in heaven, we look to you, God. We thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for being so wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for helping people today. Jesus, only you know and they know the depths of how much you've helped them. Lord Jesus, but I pray you continue to. Help us give ear to the Word of God for just a few moments. Lord Jesus, everything that's said from here on out, Lord, I pray you be Jesus-filled and chase empty. God, we need you today. Lord, help folks be saved. Help folks be helped. Help us be made better by the Word of God. Lord, I love you. I need you. I'm counting on you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 You can be seated if you would. It's in my soul to read this to you. John 15 and 11. I didn't forget, but I keep, I keep looking at it. These things have I spoken unto you, that your joy might remain, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. I want to give you this title today, give you this thought, uh, and preach for a while. I'm, I'm hoping not to preach long, but I, I, I want to preach right. Is that fine with you? Amen. I pray that it is. I want to give you this title, After the Miracle. After the Miracle. Amen. I'm thankful for the Jesus that we have. Amen. I want to say this to you. None of us can relate to Jesus. None of us can. He's God. Amen. Well, I know what Jesus is going through. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, I can relate to what he was feeling in that moment. No, you can't. I, I say this to you, you look at what he went through on the cross, is it possible for someone to endure a crown of thorns? Absolutely. Is it possible for someone to take on the cat of nine tails with 49 lashes? Absolutely it is. Is it possible for someone to get nailed to a cross? Absolutely. But in that moment, Jesus is feeling everything that humanity would ever feel. All of us. You you put all of our suffering together and you put it in one human being and that's what Jesus was feeling in that moment. I'm sorry, my friends, we cannot relate. But I, I want to look at just a few things this morning that you and I can relate with. Uh, here we see uh, this woman Mary, uh, Jesus' mother. Uh, Jesus was raised by a man. He didn't have a daddy, but he had a father. And his father was Almighty God. Amen. Uh, Jesus' mother is Mary. Uh, and we look at this woman uh, who had to have lived a great deal of her life in shock. Uh, well, why, why would you say that? Because uh, Mary is engaged to Joseph. And uh, as they're uh, wedding planning and getting things together, uh, 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 God would speak to Mary uh, and would let her know that she's with child. Uh, and Mary uh, would be so much in shock by that. Yeah. Uh, I want to say this to you. Uh, it would be one thing to have this in a dream. Uh, if you eat the wrong thing, you'd have some funny dreams. Uh, depending on what, med what medication you want, you have a lot of funny dreams. Uh, but uh, uh, God had to make sure that he was speaking to Mary in such a way uh, that she would have no doubt. 
moving. But we need God to speak to us in such a way that we know it's Him. God speaks to Mary and lets her know that she's with child. She's confused. She's never been with a man, never laid with a man. But she approaches Joseph, her fiancé, and lets her know that not only is she with child, but she's soon to give birth to the only begotten Son of God. It's one thing for somebody to tell you you got a jar of prego, but when somebody tells you you're going to give birth to the Savior of the world, that's a whole other level right there. Can I say this to you? And she would approach Joseph and would tell him of this gigantic tale of that she's with Jesus, Emmanuel, of that she's with Alpha and Omega, of the, of the great I Am that we read about in Moses' law. I've got him in my belly. Amen. I'm glad to tell you today of that I've got him a little higher than my belly. I'm glad to tell you I've got him in my heart. Amen. Listen, my friend. And Joseph, the Bible said, was great in mind to put her away. I'm great in mind to break up with her, to end it. But God, I'm glad God will work on both ends. Amen. How can I give you this today? You might get saved this morning. You might get help from God. And you might go and tell your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends, your family what's happened to you. And they may not understand what you're saying. But there ought to be something in them that's happy for you. When you look at them and say, I know I've got peace. I know I've got love in my heart. I know I've got forgiveness. Can I say this to you? We need to get back to the day that when people find peace in God, we don't criticize it. We don't wonder if it's real. But we say, hallelujah, I'm happy for you. Amen. Oh, we look. Amen. And God would appear to Joseph and let him know. Amen. And he, amen. She ain't kidding. And she's having this baby. And you're going to be dealt the job of raising of not just a teenager in 2025, of 2024. They're not going to be dealt with raising. Amen. Just a kid in the modern era. But you're going to be dealt with the task of raising of the great I am.
with me that uh, John the Beloved is there at the foot of the cross. Uh, Peter is Jesus' best friend. Hey, Amen. I don't want to scare nobody. I'm just a little on the excited side. Amen. And if you knew Jesus, you'd get a little, little side to uh, Listen to me. Uh, Peter, hey, Amen, is Jesus' best friend. Oh, what a moment this is. Uh, they sit down. Let's back up just a moment. Uh, they sit down at the Last Supper. He's got all of his disciples, all of those that are so close to him, uh, that have walked with him, uh, that's been there uh, through everything with him. And Jesus looks at them and he says this, This day will the Son of God be betrayed into the hands of sinners, and I'll die for you. I'll be crucified for you. And Peter said, Not so, my Lord. Not so, my Lord. Hubble Chase, he shouldn't have done that. Uh, can I tell you something? Hey, if your best friend, how uh, you think of somebody so close to you? I'll give you a couple seconds. Uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Congrats, you got somebody in your mind. Uh, they look at you and they said, there's some people I love. And the only way they can live if I, is if I die for them. Uh, the only way your family can live is if I die for them. Uh, the friend that you are uh, would step up and say, I don't want to lose you. I can't lose you. Uh, please don't do this. And Jesus would look into Peter's eyes. And this is what he would say. Uh, before the cock crows, uh, you'll deny me three times. And that best friend in me uh, looked at him and said,
people have seen Jesus perform wonderful works, God, right in front of their eyes. Wonderful works for their whole families. And nobody, nobody is helping Jesus. How can I say this to you? You look at how much, can we take a pulse check right here? How many of you would admit that Jesus has helped you in your life more than you can tell? Anybody? But you take a look at the mental messes. You take a look at the emotional messes. You take a look at how much we hurt our own self. Of the messes that, that all Jesus has been. We take it out on him. How do we beat him with it? How can I tell you what it's the equivalent to? How do we get ourselves in such a mess? How do we get ourselves in such a mess of bitterness? How such a mess of anger? How such a mess of sin? How such a mess of hatred? And you don't know what that's the equivalent to? Come from the tent. Come Jesus out in the middle of the community, Brother Josh. And we're all watching him. Come Chase as he gets beat beyond measure. Come on, Chase, I wouldn't do that. Come can I tell you something this morning? Come if you don't let Jesus help you, you're beating him to death with his own love. Amen. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. Go to Calvary with me, we'll soon. Uh -huh. How about halfway? We go to Calvary. Oh, pause. There's one good human. Can we just say for time's sake, there's probably, Billy, there's probably a thousand people gathered around in that time of day. And there's one good man. One good man bracing out the entire group of people. Jesus falls man beneath the weight of his cross. And Simon would get under his cross, Christy, and help him carry it. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you today, is there anybody, just one, that instead of being a critic of how God's blessed you, right. would you just be glad that he's blessed you? Yeah. How is this is a lamb. Would there be anybody, anybody, instead of looking at him and saying, I just don't understand how you can be all God and all good. I don't understand why you let this happen. And I don't understand why you let that happen. Instead of nitpicking Jesus, would there be one person out of 90 in the house this morning that would look at him and say, all I know is you walk with me. You never leave me. You never forsake me. I don't understand what you do. I don't understand why you do. But God, I'm just going to take you on and say, God, I want to thank you that you love Go to the cross with me if you would. There, this scene is happening. Peter is down there in the valley of Golgotha. You still with me? In the valley of Golgotha, Thatcher. I've seen you with Jesus, Tory Lynn. I've seen you take selfies with him. I've seen you go to his house. I've seen you help him. I've seen you and him in church together. I've seen him when you couldn't help yourself and he came to where he was. I've seen him at the hospitals with you. I've seen him at the funeral homes with you. I've seen him. I've seen him with you when your wife couldn't reach you and your husband couldn't reach you. But I've seen him with you, Peter. I've seen him with you. I've seen him with you, with you when you've been out of church, drunk like a skunk, couldn't figure out your way home. But Jesus guided you somehow. I've seen him with you. And when your life was ate up with drugs, I saw him with you. I've seen him with you in the good times. I've seen him with you in the bad times. And Peter says, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I want to say this to you. But my beloved friend, how much does Jesus love you? Hey, man, he loves you. If you'd have been the only person that would ever live, he'd have sealed the stick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He talked all the time about his father and Ida. You with me? No. 
You with me? He talked all the time about his father, Leanne. His father. His father will never forsake him. His father will be there with him all the way. There's no way in the world out of everybody. His father will never leave him. Remember him, uh, the only reason he's here is because he wanted to do the will of his father. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, Tommy. And he's up looking at his father. And Ryan, this is what he's, he's praying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And the sun, Reed, was still shining. He's talking to God, Dawson, just like he's his best friend. And you all know what happens at four o'clock in the afternoon, Keely? The sun goes out. God has just turned his back to Sharon on his own son. Can I ask you something real quick? You parents that are in the house, I got one coming. I got two in heavenly daycare. But y'all, as parents, how many of you would like to know that God has officially forsaken the kids? And you could see it and you could feel it. Mary looks up at God and the lights go out, Thatcher. You're the one that gave him to me. And now you're the one that's turning your back on him. How many of you that's got best friends, you've got siblings, how many of you would love to know that God has just walked out of your siblings' life? Your cousin's life, your friend's life. Can we admit something? And that, that means some of us will have to be real, real. Chase, where you at the message? I've got three quarters. We're almost done. How many of you would admit, Chase, if God leaves somebody, if God gives up on them, I wouldn't blame them if they gave up. Anybody? There's about five of us and about six more is nodding to me. But here's what's nuts, Ashley. God turns his back on his son, but Jesus won't quit loving you. Yeah. 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 Here at silence, that's worth more than that. God turns his back on his son, but Jesus won't quit bleeding for you. God turns his back on his son, but he won't quit praying for you. Jesus says, Father, it's finished. And in thine hands, I commend my spirit. And he gives up the ghost. You with me for the last leg of the race? How many of you have ever been to a funeral and an actual earthquake happened? Oh, you're kidding. You ever been there? Oh, Lord mercy, if I can take out zero. Amen. Jesus gives up the ghost chase, and as soon as he does, the earth quakes. Can I ask you something? How, how many of you have had a close relative or close friend pass away? Anybody? Can I give you something? How many of you, put your hands down, how many of you remember every single person that came through the viewing line? God bless you. How many of you can recall every single word, everything that everyone wore that was at the funeral home? Every single you can't. Hey, Mary, when your boy died, did the earthquake, you know what she would say? I just know my boy's gone. You with me? Can you say amen? Yeah. Hey, Peter, when Jesus died in the earthquake, all I know was I was on my knees begging God to forgive me. That's all I know. Hey, John the Beloved, when Jesus died in the earthquake, did the veil of the temple rip and twang? All I know, Tori Lynn, was I was holding Mary as she sobbed uncontrollably. Can I give you this little nugget? You and I are trying to be so spiritual and we're forgetting that 
But there was a problem though, Rhonda. They went to anoint the body. Drink it. They, they went to pay their respects to a dead loved one. But there's a problem though, Rhonda. There's a stone, Scott, that's at the door. Hey, let me check in for some rest y'all decent Baptist. 1223, y'all are Baptist. Hey, y'all won't remember the agony that you suffered through preaching when the kids start hunting eggs. It'll be fine. Mary was there, Kim, when the stone got put in front of the tomb. But, hey, Mary, can I ask you something? What are you going to do about the stone? And all she said, I'm going to anoint my son's body. What about the stone? There ain't no stone going to separate me. Woo! And my son. <laughs> I wonder where she got that from. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, parents, how many of y'all would admit that your kids are a little bit too much like you? Yeah. How many of y'all would admit, hey, parents, how many of y'all would admit you picked up some traits from your kids? Yeah. <laughs> hey, who wrote the Bible? Oh, Lord, help us, God. <laughs> I feel like I just went over to LJ's and asked him. Hey, man. God wrote the Bible. God is the same as Jesus. Come on, everybody get with that. Amen. Hey, Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 31. Neither hot. You with me? Neither height nor death, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come. There's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mary, what about the stone? Yeah. They ain't no stone going to separate me from loving on my boy. Where'd she get that from, Rob? Hey, Jesus, what about death? Yeah. <laughs> you ever had that moment when you're preaching and they only got ten folk with you? <laughs> hey, Jesus, what about death? And Jesus looks out and he says, there ain't no death going to get between me and love all my people. You know what? 
You'll know what Mary said. If he's alive, tell me where he is. Can I give you this this morning? The last chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all a miracle. But in that moment, somebody help me, it did not feel like a miracle. Hey, let me dig. I don't know if I'm going to get to finish this or not. Amen. Chase, what's that mean? That means Easter crowd don't come back next Sunday. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm sure that done. Jesus ready to help folk. Amen. That means Chase is almost out of time. Amen. Ron Foss, I got a little bit about that couple weeks. I ain't worried about that. No yeah. <laughs> How many of y'all has Jesus absolutely been great to? Yeah. But there are times in your life because of what people have done to you, because of what you've done to yourself, because of the season of the moment, you're too stuck in the awfulness of the moment to see the awesomeness of God. Amen. You know what we say about that, Tennessee, Miss Sharon? You can't see the forest. Some of y'all God have been trying to lose and been trying to love for decades. Let's finish here if we can. Amen. Mary whips around, Josh. This is where we'll close. Shake your back, shake it. I wasn't planning on ending here. This is where I'm going to end. Mary turns around and she hears a voice. Why do you that? says, Mary. Hey, you moms. How many of you turn around quickly when your kid calls you by your first name? Yeah. There's this one time I was around with Dawson, and he was around. He said, Holly. Now, 2024 is different than 2003. When I looked at my mother and I said, Gina. When she turned quickly, her opposite hand followed just as quickly. <laughs> Holly said, ha, 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 2003, Chase said, wham, 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 wham. <laughs> the last time Mary and Jesus had seen each other, he looks at John the Beloved and he looks at Mary. And he says, Behold thy mother. Oh, parents, let me help you for just a minute. If Almighty God can be respectful to his mama, blessed teenagers can do the same. Well, preach! <laughs> Send the kids on down to Soul Harbor Baptist Boot Camp. Amen. And Jesus speaks out, Karen, and he says, Mary. Stay with me. And she, Chris, I got so many Chris today. And she, supposing him to be a gardener. But then he called her name again. You want to know what she saw? Oh, she saw the Savior. That's what we see, Keely. You know what she saw? She saw her son. Hey, how many old mothers in the house would be honest and say you don't run that much or near as often as you should? Hey, no mother. All the rest of y'all mamas run all the time. That's a lie. I know y'all. How many old mamas would raise your hand and say, hey, if you see me running, that means you need to run too? <laughs> Mary runs back to town. And she runs straight into Peter. And she runs straight into Thomas. Come see, come see. She didn't say, my Lord or my Savior, my son. Which was dead. Right. Yeah. He's alive. And Peter was out in the tomb. Why? Why? 
because the last time he saw his best friend, Jessica, he just got done denying that he ever even knew it. Let's finish here. I'm done. Thank you for your kind of attention today. When Jesus saw him, Dawson, saw Peter, he didn't say, why'd you deny me? He loved him. Yeah. Thomas, why'd you doubt me? He said, touch me. Hey, Jonathan Malone, you remember what you used to love to do? You used to love to hug me. Hey, can, can we be honest about something? Chase your shuffle. I'm telling you, I still have another 15 minutes to preach. I, 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 we're going to finish it up next Sunday. Yeah. Well, Chase, that means we only got a 15-minute message. No, we don't. I got seven days. Yeah. You can get so much more to preach in seven days. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. How many of you in your soul do you see God saving other people and you wish you had that same faith, that same peace? How many of you, you see the peace that everybody else has? Why, why, why ain't God doing that to me? Why, why not? You see the faith that everybody else has. Why don't I have that? And you'll know what, what you do. You wind up making yourself an outcast. And here's what I mean by that. <coughs> I'm just not much religious. I don't really need that. That's for them country bumpkins. Anybody there? Religion's a southern thing. Us folk up north are more evolved. Hey, I tell you this much. Real, real up north, they real evolved. What are you talking about? Heaven. Yeah. They real evolved up there. Yeah. What do you mean? Up there, James, they know. Right. You want to be evolved? Get you some Jesus and you'll get evolved. Amen. Right. Hey, here's the thing. Hillary comes to pray, and Amber, Chris, and all, all, all the folk come pray. They get they help. And then you watch. You watch 8 to 12 people raise yeah. your hand during worship. That's good. Yeah. Hey, you with me? Yeah. That's real good for them. It's good for them. Right. Well, Chase, I, I was raised Presbyterian. I was raised Catholic. I was raised Pentecostal. I'm not much on the Baptist side. How many of you would consider yourself more saved than you are Baptist? Right. Yeah. 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 I'm letting you know salvation you give your life to Jesus when you get to heaven Jesus ain't going to set everybody down but him right. how many of you all are Catholic ooh Catholic back row heaven <laughs> Methodist ah, we got y'all a holiday heavenly hen over there where's them missionary Baptists Something it never was supposed to be. Right. But can I tell you something about that? 
it does you no good to take out on Jesus what people did.
amazing how personal God walks with you every day. He'll become more than a story. He'll become the breath you breathe. He'll become your best friend. Amen. Anybody else? You can be seated if you would. God bless you so much. That's Mamba. Tell me if you like to come. We appreciate you so much for being here. We just got a couple things left. Just a couple of minutes will be gone. The teenagers have been so kind and nice to put uh, hide eggs in places where no one will be able to find them. <laughs> That's how appreciative we are of them. Appreciate you this morning. Love to give these announcements while you're here. April 21st, God alone, we've got a baptism. Uh, we'll be baptizing Taylor Kershner. Looking forward to it. April 14th, Trey Brock and Morgan will be with us. Uh, so please, that's three weeks out. Uh, please, uh, please catch this. Listen, April 11th, 12th, and 13th, uh, Preacher Josh Gold will be going to revival at Old Fashioned Independence and Attitude. Uh, church, and I'm talking to the harbor especially, we need to make plans on attending that. Uh, we, need to be make, we need to be making plans for that. Uh, I haven't talked to the deacons about it, uh, and I'm out of apologies for that, but I'd really love to take a look at canceling that Thursday night service uh, and moving over to supporting Preacher Josh. Um, hey, can I, can I give you this? Preacher Josh, Miss Courtney, and their kids are a blessing to our church. Amen. Yeah. And there's nothing we can do, and it doesn't matter who it is, but when somebody's a blessing to you, you can't do enough to repay that. But Lord of mercy, for God to give us an opportunity to go support him in revival. I believe that'd be a blessing. I believe that'd be a blessing. Amen. Is that all of our announcements? Anything I'm missing or overlooking? Chase, we do want to announce our next youth event. It's going to be on the 5th of May, Sunday afternoon at Josh and I's house. We're going to do outside stuff, lunch, fishing, all the outdoor things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, love you out this too. We've got a we got a dad and son a, a, a preaching day coming. Uh, preacher Tim, preacher Chris, be preaching for us. In case anybody, because I've got four Chris's here today. I'm not talking about any of y'all. I'm talking about the one in the green and, and the one in front of him right there. Just so nobody gets scared. Nobody gets wondering what's happening. Uh, looking forward to it. We've also got a missionary coming to May from the Philippines, Brother Long Ambrosio. I have no doubts I'm much for that. Anyway, amen. We love you so much. Looking forward to giving to the Lord. Uh, Brother Josh, if you would, pray about it. Father, we thank you, Lord, once again. We thank you, Lord, for the thank you for what we have this morning. Lord, what we have to celebrate. Father, that we have you in our lives. Father, we have such a blessing, Lord, to know you. Father, you place people in our lives, Lord, that you such a blessing to help us. You place strength in our lives, Lord, that you can help us. Father, and let us, let us do what we can, Lord, for your pain I know. We have to be blessed those who can give those who cannot afford. Father, we have to be the remainder of this year, this whole, this whole day, Lord, to help our families, Lord, gather together in love, Lord, and have a wonderful time. Father, can you have your precious name and prayer? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Give the Lord. Let's do this course a couple of times. Let's do this course. This is my soul.
Hey, youth leaders, do, is there anything needs to be done for kids to hunt at anything? We got bags for you. We did it. Have bags if you don't have baskets. So by all means, kiddos, when you come get it, don't hurt anybody. Uh, church ready? Lord help. He's helping. Can God. God can. God bless you.